Alex, what's new at IBC for Gris Valley? So what we're showing here is uh, the new version of Edius 8.22, which uh, we just released last August. And uh, we're showing a workflow um, also together with our Stratus, our um, asset management and uh, video production um, management system. So we, and uh, here at our booth, we are mainly showcasing our new um, functions we added in 8.2 which is the motion tracking filter and the primary color correction. Yeah, I mean the primary color correction got a lot of new uh, functionality even in the smaller update, 8.22. Um, can you just explain a little bit uh, what, what has been added there? So in 8.22, we expanded more support for native uh, camera formats. So support for more of the uh, Sony um, log and also Canon log. Also, JVC log support has been added. Also, support for custom LUT, uh, importing custom LUT, which is also a big feature, um, which uh, uh, has been added um, in 8.22. Yeah, the, especially the possibility to import LUTs. Uh, one kind of LUTs is for conversions or to transform color space, but also to work creative with lookup tables is now possible. And here at the booth, uh, is hardly <laughs> it's not easy to see him because there's always many people here. Uh, it's Matthew Scott who also did um, uh, AD, ADIOS 8.2 um, tutorial about uh, the motion tracker and the color uh, grading tool. He's, he's working a lot now with creative uh, lookup tables. We will post uh, another video where we, we show his demos or what he's doing here uh, in, this, in this YouTube channel. But um, I think he's one of the guys who um, really can uh, very good understand the possibilities you get by using these lookup tables. Yep. Um, he's also showing here like a workflow together with Edios and DaVinci Resolve, showing that Edios can really sit in also in a production workflow too, and how it can be useful when even in applying like LUTs or uh, doing some basic color grading inside with the uh, power of EDIOS in the real-time capabilities and, uh, how do you say, um, applying filters and stuff. So he's uh, showing a good workflow on how you can do quick delivery of even such um, production materials too. I see you also have a Shogun Flame there with a HDR display. Do you, what, what kind of yeah, the workflow do you show here? So it's showing one way of our convenient HDR workflow that uh, we're showing the using the Shogun for HDR, well, uh, high level, um, high range color level monitoring. So with the new um, Shogun, we'll be able to see the uh, high color ranges, which we is not supported in like regular monitors. So you'll be able to do high quality grading um, using the small monitor, but with very high quality and high precision. I mean, HDR is very new in the market. Is there uh, yeah, already a broadcaster using EDIOS for HDR workflow? Yeah, there are several um, stations who are already starting to edit in HDR, also providing um, contents uh, delivery in HDR. So uh, in certain cases, like they start editing with uh, contents shot using um, the, uh, how do you say, those uh, cameras with supporting logs and to be able to have the end content in HDR is also um, required there. So there are stations like in Japan who are providing that kind of um, services already and EDIUS is being used there to support that kind of workflow also. Um, well, when we uh, met last time at NAB, um, there was a big discussion about uh, Apple no longer supporting QuickTime for Windows. And uh, you did some math there, so <laughs> you have, you've done your work. Uh, in EDIOS 8.22, there is now a native support for many formats. Is, um, yeah, maybe you can, can talk a little bit about this transformation. So in 8.22, we were able to totally remove the dependency on the QuickTime uh, Quick player. So it does not require a uh, QuickTime player to run. And also we support 
the uh, basic formats that we used to rely on QuickTime Player, like um, playing majority of the still files, also support for like QuickTime MOV files, and being able to export in MOV wrapped formats, is uh, now supported natively in 8.22. Yeah, I've also seen or we have tested that it's uh, now a better workflow with pictures also, with still pictures, because you can import more pictures with, with less, uh, you need less power. You, in a way, you see... Things that come in between, since we support natively, the, uh, how do you say, the process has become lighter. And, well, it still requires some tweaking, but uh, overall, we're happy with the result. So is there something more going to happen um, in, in this area of quick time or is this uh, solved so far? Um, we will continue to develop and there are some certain MOV formats that we might have some issues importing. So we are working on to expanding our support for more of those broader MOV type files. Alex, you mentioned that Grass Valley is showing edits together with uh, GV Stratus. Um, is there something yeah, special about this combination as well? There is a tight integration between EDIUS and Stratus that EDIUS is already a large component in Stratus where, where it's doing all the uh, uh, jobs that require transcoding or rendering. So, so like for instance, rendering out sequences, um, also processes like creating proxy files, um, EDIUS or actually the EDIUS running as a service, which we call the GV Render Engine, is already running inside Stratus. I've heard that uh, uh, GV Stratus is also mainly used for news and uh, to speed up the process. Um, there are some proxies which are generated automatically in the background and they can be used very easily now for, for example, social media. So be very quick to, to, yeah, to be able uh, to not broadcast, but to <laughs> to make public uh, different kinds of, of content. So Stratus is already used in like few hundred stations worldwide already for news production. And uh, inside, uh, how, do you, how do you say, we have gotten requests from customers regarding um, more various sizes of proxy that they would like to be supported. So one of the requests was that they wanted a little bit higher quality of proxy, hopefully in the HD resolution, which can be also used for emergency broadcast purposes if required. So, um, and that's one of the reasons, um, uh, or one of the benefits of using um, the EDIUS rendering engine that it allows you to create like various types of uh, proxy formats um, pretty easily. Okay, so then you're faster up to the air, and in this case, that's also the new slogan. Uh, yeah, uh, it's about your content. Yes. So, um, following that, uh, so EDIUS being the part that providing many different types of inputs and outputs, we feel that uh, that we can be a key um, component um, following that uh, that that message. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting technology. Maybe we can see a little bit more about this in the future. Um, what are some future plans for EDIUS? I mean, you had a roadmap, and I think the next big point is like uh, supporting optical flow. Is this the next step? Yeah. There are things that we already announced that we will do in version 8. And like as you mentioned, um, optical flow support for better high quality slow motion or uh, time adjustment is one thing. There are also several things that we're cooking that uh, hopefully uh, by the end of the year we'll be able to officially uh, launch and release. Can you give us an idea what might be coming even if it's not 100% official? Just between you and me? Uh, it's a little bit of a, how do you say, um, difficult thing to mention. But again, um, f uh, support for additional formats um, also, basic functionality improvements is planned. Also, for what we mentioned on the rendering engine, we're thinking of um, other things that we can use that for. So, there's a lot of things that uh, we are currently thinking about. Okay. Uh, often, a question we got quite often now is uh, with uh, laptops where you have a very high resolution, sometimes even Ultra HD on a small uh, display. Um, is there a solution planned, maybe? Yeah, that's something we are looking at and hopefully that you will be able to see that soon. Um, support for high quality. Uh, 
uh, high DPI uh, monitors is something that uh, that are planned to be coming soon. Okay, so is is there an idea when the next release could be? Is this, as this year so means? As, so as I said, we are targeting the end of this year. Okay. So cross your fingers and uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> we are very much looking forward to this. Thank you very much for your time and have a great IBC. Uh, thank you very much. Yes,